Hi guys. October 21, 2018. So I got uh, two comments from one subscriber about Trump and 5G. And I got a comment today from another subscriber who said Common Core is dead. Alright, let's take the first comment. Um, or the first subscriber leaving two comments. <laughs> the first comment, God has chosen Trump as his own, telling people he's the same as Rothschild, which I never said. I have no doubt I said that he's a puppet of Rothschild, but didn't say he's the same as Rothschild. Oh, people, please listen. Listen to what people say carefully. Anyway, uh, those who are behind 5G, okay, wait. Telling people he's the same as Rothschild, those who are behind 5G, is immoral. Never lose truth. You have obviously decided to join them, the Rothschilds, by denouncing God's choice so publicly. That is a curse, FYI. I mean siding against God's chosen. You'll have to live with it. I suggest denouncing 5G, Rothschild, Saudi, Soros, and publicly repenting for what you stated against Trump. Being against God has never worked out well. Well, okay. Um, my response to that comment was, well, I guess God... Uh, has made a choice between the lesser of two evils as well, or makes choices based on lesser of two evils as well. You know, belief, okay? These beliefs that people have, um, you really do need to reevaluate your beliefs. Because a belief is not necessarily the truth, it's just your belief. And very often people have beliefs that make themselves feel comfortable. And when you have a belief, and you need that belief to be the truth, then you look for things to confirm your belief. It's called confirmation bias. And when you don't understand that confirmation bias operates in all of us, but in order to get to the truth, we've got to, we have to be aware of our confirmation bias. And if we're not aware of it, we're not about the truth. You know, the truth really is very, very demanding. And it's not selective, okay? The truth it's not just about what's happening to us collectively, but what's going on inside you, personally. And if you don't know what's going on inside you, personally, if you don't understand how your brain is operating, then you don't have control over your brain, and you will cause animosity between people or uh, division here in the fabulous social media, in the cyber world. So, um, yeah, I, I, I can live with what I have said, and I don't need to repent publicly for what I have said. And I understand that going against God or going against the truth, going against love, all three, all three are the same, God, love, truth. I don't mean that sentimental love. For me, it's the love of truth, which sure does keep me on my toes. Um, well, you go against God, you go against truth. And I will tell you, this person is against God. Oh, backlash. Well, 
if you can't hear what somebody says and really think about it, then you're not about truth. You're about your belief being confirmed. And you're about believing that your belief is the truth. God has chosen Trump. Okay, why would God choose Trump? Couldn't God have picked somebody of higher character? No, God had to choose Trump. Okay, um, well, the other comment that I got from that person was, C. Carol, well, they didn't write C. Carol, but I get a lot of C. Carols um, because I know that they're just giving me information. C. Trump is fighting for America. He's fighting for Americans. I get a lot of people sending me information. Um, they not understanding that we are living the uh, the great era of deception, and they not understanding that they're being thrown crumbs. So the other comment that I got from this person was, uh, they said that American intelligence media had reported that Trump stopped 5G in space. In space? There is no space, right? I mean, isn't that what a lot of Christians believe? There's no space? There's a dome, we have no space? Or is that flat earth? Christians? I don't know. But apparently, there's a lot of people who believe that we don't have any space. So... How could he have stopped 5G in space? All right, well, um, he also apparently is now testing it for safety. That's what American intelligence media reported. I listened to American media intelligence as long as I could. No evidence to support those claims. I tried to find some evidence to support those claims, and there is none. Just because somebody says, I work for the NSA, and uh, I guess maybe people think that that person then has inside information, it doesn't mean that they do. We are living a time, especially with the internet, especially on social media, where an awful lot of people say things, and... Uh, it's not necessarily the truth. So, if you are about truth and you hear somebody make a claim that is counter to what an awful lot of people are saying, including mainstream media, the Trump administration, uh, Trump himself, about well, in this case, it's 5G. And you don't do any research to find out if that claim that you just heard made, you don't do any research to find out if it's true. You are so not about truth. You're about yourself. And you are about confirming your belief that God has chosen Trump. And therefore, uh, you've got to denounce 5G. But Trump is stopping 5G in space and testing it for safety. You'll just pass that on as if it's the truth because it confirms your belief. Well, guess what? The truth doesn't work that way. So I found no evidence whatsoever that Trump is testing 5G for safety. Why would he do that? He, he, he's not even, he, he never even established the vaccine commission, the safety commission that that was one of his promises during his campaign. So clearly he doesn't give a shit about children. Because Trump during his campaign, well, he was saying that vaccines might not be as safe as many claim, right? So he's just allowing our children 
to be shot up with vaccines and he does nothing. All right. Um, Well, all I can tell you is Trump is right in with 5G. The Trump administration has taken a very pro-investment, pro-broadband stance from the beginning. This is the Assistant Secretary for Communications and Information, um, an interview, a fireside chat with Brookings Institution fellow, uh, Dr. Nicole Turner-Lee. Um, and David Red Redo, um, they are discussing broadband connectivity. So that's what they said. The Trump administration has taken taken a very pro investment, pro broadband stance from the very beginning, citing the administration's early work to, to extend broadband to rural areas, um, the White House, and the Department of Agriculture have been developing a strategy for connecting areas of the country that are difficult to reach. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross's efforts to deliver on the President's commitment to lead the United States into a new era of space commerce. Space! There we go again. No space. There's no space. Um, which has included elevating the Office of Space Commerce to report directly to the Secretary White House's September 5G Summit. Uh, the message was pretty clear from all White House representatives. The U.S. is going to be first. Uh, this is because industry is committed to pushing forward on 5G and the Trump administration is committed to policies that support private sector growth. You know, I would probably get a lot more views and subscribers if I just said what an awful lot of people want to hear. But I can't do that. Wireless tech companies, Ericsson, relocating factories to the U.S., creating jobs, building the foundation for continued American technological leadership. We are the country of the lie. I guess, you know, Americans love lies. And they love to have their beliefs confirmed. But you are so not about truth, if that's all you're about. No, God did not choose Trump. Sorry. All right, so this uh, Common Core, the subscriber left a comment. Betsy Davos announced Common Core is dead. Well, I don't know if she said that verbatim, but she said something like that, January 19, uh, January 2018. Um, I've posted videos. We are the country of the lie. Everybody lies. That's why the truth is so friggin' demanding. Because everything you hear, you've got to check out. Oh, Betsy Tavo said it. That means it's true. If it's true, why would we have articles like this that were just posted a couple of days ago? Thanks, Common Core. ACT scores for class of 2018, worst in decades. Common Core is alive and well. If that was not the case, then this Alabama representative would not be introducing a bill to repeal Common Core. It's not about education, it's about indoctrination. Why do people just believe without checking out to see if it's true? You know, the awake crowd, since Trump, it, it's like, wow, so many are going on. I support Trump and I'm not going to look objectively at what he's doing. I'm not going to do the research to find out what he really is doing. I'm not going to do the research to find out who he is appointing and to find out 
what these people are implementing, I'm just going to support Trump. Oh, because he talks. He speaks the things I like to hear on immigration, uh, Common Core, vaccines, you know, during the campaign. And that's it. That's my belief. It's my belief that Trump is fighting the deep state. It's my belief that Trump is doing all he can to save this country. And that's all I care about. I'm going to look at information that confirms my belief. I'm not about the truth. I just want my belief confirmed. Well, doesn't help us. It allows you to feel comfortable. It allows you to go on and never have to participate in the change that you want to see. It allows you to continue your own way of living without ever really having to, well, do anything to manifest the change that you want to see. You just want to see it. And you want to believe that somebody's working towards it as long as you don't have to do anything to get us there. I'm tired of this. So, um, the one of the main reasons why I wanted to post this video was because I came across this in doing some research on Common Core, trying to find out the most recent development. Uh, Common Core still exists. All right. Childhood lost. Children today are arguably different from previous generations, and the proof is in the news coverage we see every day. This site shows you what's happening in schools around the world. Children are increasingly disabled and chronically ill, and the education system has to accommodate them. Things we've long associated with autism, like sensory issues, rep repetitive behaviors, anxiety, lack of social skills, are now problems affecting mainstream students. Uh, blame is predictably placed on bad parenting, otherwise known as trauma from home. Well, it, you don't have to come from a uh, traumatizing environment to have bad parenting. Your job as parents is to protect your children. So if you're not looking into doing the research on psychiatric medications and vaccines in particular, if you're not doing the research to find out what your public schools are doing to your children, if you're not trying to find out and, and fighting uh, Common Core and um, then you're not protecting your child. And a lot of the problems that we are seeing with these children are related to so many children on these medications and the vaccines that they have been injected with all of the poisons. Um, it does come down to parents. Sorry, but you brought a child into the world and it is 100% your responsibility to take care of that child. But we do have an awful lot of parents who want to claim that it's the schools or it's the, uh, the time, um, it's TV, it's this, it's that. Well, then I would uh, say that you're not looking at how you are raising your child. And unfortunately, what makes everything far more difficult 
is the foods now that is really creating an awful lot of behavioral issues with children. I will say this, genuine love and respect go an awful long way to um, help your children be mentally well and emotionally well. So what this site has really does have a tremendous amount of mainstream media articles posting on schools all over the world, Ireland, Michigan, Scotland, um, England, and you will find out what the world's schools are about right here on this site. And it's scary. You know, a sensory room to provide calming, Australia. Uh, you got these new specialists going into schools. Schools have uh, adopted yoga programs. Schools that are doing more and more screening for dyslexia, neurological problems, emotional problems, mental health problems, and then after the screening, the parents are told that the child needs to be on psychiatric med medication because they're, uh, they have some mental illness. And so many parents just go, okay. And New York has now opened a playground for autistic children. You have to, well, a healthy mind would question how it is that so many kids have autism. So many that New York opens first of its kind autism playground. Okay guys, all links are below.